Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, your favorite land surveyor on YouTube, at least I hope I am. All right, so this is the last video, I think the last video that I'm gonna do in this set of videos about uh, putting together some just GIS level planimetric line work and some, some basic annotations of uh, geographic features that we need for a site plan. This is a 200 or 250 acre farm northeast of Sacramento. We're working for the for the family here on some land use planning stuff. So, in the last video, we kind of wrapped up with our our labels here. You now, what I did before I hit the record button, well, two things. Uh, first of all, my labels were way too big because I was working in metric. I thought I had reprojected this image from UTM Zone 10 to State Plain, California State Plain Zone 2, but apparently I goofed that up. So I had to rotate, move and rotate my line work and fix my the size of my annotation. So don't be a doofus like me. Make sure you're working on the right project coordinate system. But I got that fixed. And the other thing I did is I W blocked out my annotations, my text and my leaders, and I and I deleted them out of here because it, in our H and our CAD system, we like to keep our line work on our annotations and separate drawings. What I want to do now in this video is start to layer on the information that we're going to eventually display on the site plan. So at RH, we break our mapping products up into their major themes. So like to topography, boundary, GIS, and each of those themes has its own drawings, usually a line work drawing and an anno drawing. Sometimes there's a hatch drawing. And then we kind of layer that all back together. And there's a couple different reasons we do that. One is it promotes reuse. Another reason is it allows us to work in parallel. That's part of the reason why we can we can take down big surveys relatively quickly because we can split up, split up and work on drawings independently for the same project. So when you bring those drawings back together, and what we call the master drawing for the mapping product, you got to make sure you insert them in, in the proper order or set the display order properly or, or properly or it doesn't look right. So I'm going to work now from the back or the bottom of the display order to the front. So we have the, the ortho image is almost always at the back or the bottom. Then the next thing that will probably be in the display order is going to be the contours. Then I'll have this planimetric GIS line work. Then we'll have the boundary line work. Then we'll have the planimetric anno. And then the last thing will probably be the boundary anno. So the annotations always sit on top. Your text always sits on top. So let's go ahead and add the contours. Before I do that, you remember in one of the previous videos, I, I thought about hatching the wetland area here. And I decided against that because I knew this drawing was going to get busier as we added these other uh, kind of themes in and, and I didn't want it to get cluttered. So and you're, I think you're going to see that here. So let's go ahead and whoop, let's add the contours now that I've got stuff in the right coordinate system. So we're going to drop those in. So you can see they, they've layered right on top. Now they're actually sitting above the, the GIS planimetric line work, which is not what I want. So I'm going to just select that. I'm going to send it to the back. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my image. Oh, let's see here. Did that work? I think it did. And we'll send the image to the back. Okay, so now, now I have the display order properly. And so you can see just adding the contours makes this drawing quite a bit busier, right? Now you're going to notice when we do that 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 some of these labels are are, are going to not work, right? So uh, I I may go in and delete this label here because uh, there's a there's a conflict. It looks like we got another one, and it's not an accident that the the contours are landing right where the right where the line work is. Uh, the only other option I have there is to separate out the contour labels and bring them on top of the planimetric line work. I might ask my cat tech Elena what she wants to do there. She probably would know better than me, so I might ask her. 
So I'll leave it for now. Okay, so the next thing we want to drop in here is our boundary line work. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to be in our boundary folder. Okay, so we have our, you can see we've got all the parcels there. So we've got the boundary line work in now, and you can you can see this is starting to get really busy, right? So these are the, the old parcel lines, the old lots in the subdivision. This pink line out here is our subject parcel. Then we have this green line is, is the new subdivision line we want to create. So you can see down here, this is that one acre parcel we were looking at in the earlier videos. So this is already already starting to get busy. I'm not sure how the boundary Anna looked. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and drop in our GIS Anna drawing that I made. Let's see, why is that not showing up? It might be in here. I'm having some sync issues with our OneDrive. Man, now I don't know where that now I don't know where that drawing went. Give me a second, let me find that drawing. Alright, let's try this again. I just remembered I, I'm supposed to put the scale at the end of this file name. We're all getting in trouble with my cat text. Alright. Okay, so there's our, our labels for the the GIS. And then the last thing is the boundary, the boundary uh, annotation. And uh, I'll just be honest with you guys, I haven't looked at that yet. I don't know if it's done or not, but we're just gonna live dangerous here. You ready? We're gonna live dangerous. Let's see what the ladies have for us here. Okay, so you can see now we've got the boundary anno in there. Uh, I don't think they, oh yeah, they do. They have some distances on here. Okay, so we can start to see how this is going to come together, and this this will look actually a lot nicer once I get the <clears throat> when it plots with our CTB. Now, one of the things you'll notice is we've got some some conflicting labels here, right? So that needs to get cleaned up. So how do we do that? What we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and open up <clears throat> our GIS Anno layer, and then what I'm going to do is in this whoop. I am going to add the boundary line work. I'm going to add the GIS line work. So this is this is one of the kind of the drawbacks of our of our system here. I don't know where that just went. I feel like it didn't get dropped in here. might be because there's a circular reference here. Let's go look at this. Mm. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't need that. I shouldn't need that in there. All right, let's 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 get the boundary anno in here. And then we'll, we'll put the contours in last. So this is just gonna let us fix our label conflicts. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, the contours. We wanted the contours in. Okay, so now what I can do is I can go in and I can I can fix some of these label conflicts, right? So uh, I'm gonna probably pull the creek up here. I'd rather not have it cross that line. And then in here is this little grazing label. So we're gonna we're gonna try and find a spot for that where it doesn't. So we fix that conflict. So then I'm just going to kind of go through here, and we're just going to look for label conflicts. <clears throat> you know, probably it would help if these two weren't overlapping. So I might be able to do something like that. I don't know that there's going to be a whole lot I can do about this particular <sighs> conflict here. I probably, I'm probably just going to have to pull this down across the road, even though I don't want to. 
So we just kind of cruise through here. You know, here's another example of a of a label that's overlapping Oop. with that line there. So we'll pull that up. This one's getting pretty close too. We can move that over here. This is a little bit close. I'm going to move this over. This is overlaying the, that little berm there, so we'll put that over here. I'm actually going to copy this. We've got rice fields on the other side of the berm here. So we just kind of go through and look for conflicts. Here's another grazing label sitting on that line. I'm going to move down. Oop. I copied that. I meant to move it. All right, I think that's about it. That looks pretty good. So then what we can do is we'll uh, we'll save, uh, we're gonna detach all these XRFs. You don't wanna forget to do that. Cause we just, we just, um, we only put them in uh, to fix the labels. So our anode drawing should only have anodes. And then we can reload these. Let's see, the GIS uh, Anno will reload. And you can see now that looks a lot better, right? A lot of these, a lot of these. Now we still got uh, some other issues here. We'll probably, I'll probably end up, yeah, I will probably end up unmasking those contour labels. Um, and then I'll, I'll have to let Elena decide, but we, we may, we may, um, leader in some of these contour labels. I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to figure that out. But, you know, this doesn't look good. I don't like this. So we'll have to fix that. So we'll, we'll either... Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know. I'll, I'm going to let Elena decide because she's better at this than me. Here's another contour label that's right on the line. But this is most of the way there. Uh, so you guys can see. I know the colors are a little jarring, but this is going to look... It'll actually look pretty nice when we get it... Uh, when we get it... Uh, plotted here uh, so maybe I'll do one more video where, where I show you guys what the final site plan looks like after my amazing survey technicians go in here and clean some of this up this 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 is probably we probably don't need a leader quite that long so there's still there's a little bit of cleanup to do on the on the boundary no2 but you guys get the kind of basic idea how we're pulling all this information together uh, to put this uh, to put this site plan to create this site plan so all right guys thank you for watching appreciate it